Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using easy transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of the song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sounds of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for the song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, organ, synth, pads, strings, and bass all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here up to here. This lowest octave is where most of your sounds are going to be triggered. There's also an organ sound that stretches from this note all the way up to this note. Your right hand will be playing some chords in this range during some parts of the song. Then there's a piano sound from this note all the way up to this note. You'll play some chords in this range as well. Then in the highest range, there is a synth bell sound from this note all the way up to here. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, your verses. At halfway is the chorus and the down bridge. And then all the way up is just the big bridge. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. Your left hand will play single notes in the lowest octave, which is really just holding the tonic note of your key in that octave. Then your right hand will play some chords in this organ range just above it. So I'll show you first what just the right hand does slowly. So the first chord we play in the right hand looks like this. Then we move this down to this note. The next chord looks like this. Moving to our six minor. Then we move back to that one suspended. And then the next chord is a five, and then back down to one. Now you may have noticed I did add a couple of notes in between a couple of those chords just to help fill the space. So here's the first line, which is just chords, and then I'll slowly break down the second line with those individual notes in between as well. So here's the first line. Then to start off the second line, you'll play this into the first set of chords. Then you'll play a short ascending line that sounds like this, moving into the next chords. So all together with the right hand, it looks like this. And then with that, your left hand is just going to be holding this note in the lowest octave. So here it is all together.
For the verses, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the lowest octave of your range, which is really just holding out the tonic note of your key. For the first half of this first verse, your right hand won't do anything, but for the second half, you'll bring the right hand up to play chords up in this range. You'll be switching between a one chord and a one suspended chord, and I like to voice those like this. I also like to add in this note during some of those suspended chords as well. So here's what the second half of the verse with just the right hand looks like. So as you can see, it's a pattern. You start by pulsing twice on this one chord, then you move up to the suspended and pulse a few more times, and then back and forth and back and forth you go. So here's the entire first verse. The second time you play the verse, you'll play everything the same way as the second half of this verse. So you'll play that low octave in your left hand and the piano chords in your right hand throughout the entire verse this time. The verse does come back at the very end of the song. For this verse, you'll have the song section control at halfway. You'll be holding octaves in your left hand, and then your right hand will play the exact same piano chord part. So just watch for that part in the demo. Choruses, you'll have the song section control at halfway. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. These chords are going to be up in the piano range, so keep in mind you want to keep them on this note and above, up to this note. So here's how I like to voice my chords. So here's one time through the chorus with both hands. The second time you play the chorus, you'll play everything the exact same way. For the bridge, you'll have the song section control at halfway to start. You'll play octaves in the left hand and a synth lead in the right hand. Here's what the synth lead sounds like. So 
So I'm gonna slow it down and go chord by chord with you because this synth lead matches the chords that you're playing in the left hand. So you'll start with your one chord and play this part. And you'll move to your four chord and play the next part. Back to one. Now this part is a little bit faster, so I'll slow it down for you. So just to break that down one more time, here's that last portion of the right hand lead just by itself. Now this part may seem a little bit tricky to play because it is syncopated, so I recommend playing it with a click super slow, way below tempo, and then slowly bringing it up to tempo, and then adding in your left hand as well. So here's one time through the chord progression with both hands at tempo so you can see this part in context. If you're having trouble finding where that chord changes from the minor six to the five in the left hand, you can think about it like this. Whenever your right hand lead gets to this note, that's when your left hand will change. So here's just the right hand. Here it is all together. Thinking about it like this will allow you to nail that left hand chord change and keep your right hand in time. Now for the first half of this bridge, everything stays the same as we just played it. But during the second half, the chord progression does change slightly. So you'll bring the song section control up all the way and your left hand will play this. Then the second half looks like this. The right hand will play the same lead over the top of these chords, but just be aware that those chords are different. Here's the second half of the bridge with both hands. Be sure to watch the full demo video to see all of these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for main stage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for main stage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out the song specific patch. I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. We'll see you next time.